Konnichiwa, Japanese Oma no Misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you useful words and phrases that you often hear in anime. So I said anime, but you will hear these words and phrases that I will teach you in real life and also, yeah, in not just in anime but in TV shows as well. It's just you will hear them a lot in anime. And I love anime, so. <laughs> Let me quote Anya's line from Spy Family. Anya, drama yori, anime ha, misa mo, watashi mo. So Anya said, I prefer anime to dramas. Anime ha, this ha is like I'm more of a that kind of person, so I'm a dog person. You say inu ha, neko ha. Cat person. I'm more of an anime kind of girl. You can say anime ha. Well, you don't have to be girl because anime ha just means prefer anime to something else. And Anya used her own name to mean I, right? And you will hear this a lot in anime.、Uh, not much in real life、uh, because. People think it's a bit annoying. <laughs>、uh, but you, yeah, often to do that.、Uh, all kids, they use their own name as the pronoun I,、uh, but it often sounds yeah, childish or a little bit too cutesy, and people generally don't like it when people do that. <laughs> so instead of the standard way, Uh, omitting the pronoun I,、uh, onakasuita, or you could add watashi, right? Watashi onakasuita. I can also say, Misa onakasuita. But yeah, I would end up sounding like、um, attention seeker, like no, not, not very、uh, mature. <laughs> anyway, Ichiban me, first one. Yurusanai. Or you might hear other variations like Yurusane or Yurusan. So they mean you will pay or I won't let you get away with this. You will definitely hear this phrase if you watch a shonen genre or yeah, any <laughs>、um, anime about fighting. <laughs> So, yurusanai literally means I will not forgive you. Okay? So, yurusu is the dictionary form to forgive. So, you could, for example, say yurushite, I mean, please forgive me. And then,、yeah, if you don't want to forgive the person, you can say yurusanai. I mean, I will not forgive you. <laughs> But, yurusanai can be used like you will pay for this or You won't get away with this. So, usually, when a villain hurts the speaker, the characters, like friends,、uh, yeah, the character would say, Yurusanai. Generally speaking, female characters tend to say, Yurusanai, and male characters tend to say, Yurusane. So, changing nai into ne. Makes it sound more rude,、um, more masculine, but it's not always like that. So, definitely saying yurusane sounds more rude and more intimidating. But characters like Tanjiro from Demon Slayer, I'm pretty sure he said yurusanai because he's not a very rude character. Right, he is quite polite. Like, he always speaks politely, like, uses mas, des, usually. Like, he's more calm, right? He's like the nice character. Whilst the character like Inosuke, who is more wild, <laughs> he would say yurusane, definitely. And more feisty, aggressive female characters would also use yurusane, right? So, it's not always. Like men who use yurusane. And you will also hear yurusan. So you might hear this m、mm、instead of nai for negation in certain areas in Japan. And 
yeah, that's used in some dialects, like wakaran instead of wakaranai. But it could also mean that they are just trying to sound more blunt and a bit mean. So yeah, you will still hear people say shiran to mean shiranai, I don't know, uh, or iran to mean iranai, I don't need it. Uh, in Tokyo, and this ending definitely doesn't sound as nice as saying the proper way shiranai. Uh, yeah, but it could also be a dialect, but it could also mean that the character is quite serious or old. Yeah, for example, Vegeta from Dragon Ball says Yurusan, and um, I think that's quite yeah uh, famous. But he says. Yurusan, zettai ni yurusan zo. So first he added zettai ni, which means absolutely, definitely, or no matter what. So zettai ni yurusanai literally means I will not forgive you no matter what. So it's like you will never get away with this, right? And then he added zo at the end. Uh, so you will also hear yurusane zo, so with ne as well. Yurusanai zo, yurusane zo, yurusan zo. And this is another thing that you will hear a lot in anime. Zo, for example, shinchan, crayon shinchan. I don't know if you guys know that anime. It's it's like anime for kids. I grew up watching it, um, but it's quite inappropriate. Anyway, Shin-chan always puts do at the end, so it's like his thing. So if you always add do at the end of every sentence, you will end up sounding like Shin-chan. Like Japanese people will definitely associate <laughs> you with Shin-chan, which I don't think you want to be <laughs> a character who moons at everyone. So you might hear this do particle being used more by male characters but that doesn't mean that women cannot use it actually teachers parents and people who are older than the listener tend to use this zo when warning the younger ones so for example kindergarten teachers regardless of their gender would say abunaizo to warn the kids like watch out Abunai, dangerous. So it's like, hey, it's dangerous. So watch out, be careful. Right, Abunai is all. It really depends on the tone of your voice. So, like, teachers tend to use the kind voice. So they'd be like, Soko haicha dame da zo. Don't enter that place. Uh, but like a scary builder, for example, could warn you like Abunaizo! Like, hey, watch out! Right? Uh, they don't have to be mean. It could just mean that they're trying to warn us. And again, women often say Chauzo. So this combination is very common. Uh, so they would say it when they want to be a bit playful, uh, tease you. Again, Anyone can say this, teachers, uh, you, you don't have to be a man to say zo, especially this chao zo. For example, you were at the cafe and uh, a waiter brought you a cake, but you're not eating it yet. Your friend might say, Tabe chao zo. Hey, I might eat it. I could eat it. So it's like a friendly warning, right? It's not really warning, but it's like, hey, I will do this and you might not like it. But you know, you're just teasing. So trick or treat, we say, Okashi wo kurenakya itazura shichauzo. Literally, if you don't give me candy, I will play a trick or prank on you. So itazura suru is to play a prank uh, or to do something mischievous. But yeah, itazura shichauzo 
Again, it's like a friendly, cute warning. <laughs> oh yeah, on Christmas, parents would tell their kids, Santa san konai zo, uh, if they are like staying awake, for example, because in Japan at least, you're not supposed to see Santa. So <laughs> yeah, the parents would warn them if you are awake. Uh, Santa wouldn't come to our house. Santa san konai zo. And again, that doesn't sound masculine at all. It's kind. And zo is also used to get attention. So, kind of like the yo particle. And you can say, for example, iku zo. You will hear this a lot. Iku zo. And often the translation would be, let's go. But the speaker is saying i'm going okay i told you so don't tell me i didn't tell you so yeah it's also kind of like a warning but yeah you can use it like let and it is true that in this case women or this feminine person would tend to use yo instead so like i personally would say iku yo iku yo I'm going, are you coming? And yeah, men might use ikuzo more, but men can also say ikuyo. And the difference, ikuzo, I guess, does sound more like you have authority. So you will kind of like their leader. So if you watch an anime, a leader of the group might say zo a lot. Doesn't mean that you're like better than them, but yeah, that's common. You can also use this zo to encourage a uh, team, your team or yourself. So yeah, if you play sports, uh, again, a leader or somebody would say, Katsuzo! Like, we will win, we're gonna win! <laughs> so that's to encourage everyone. And you can also say that to yourself. So, you know, you're solo fighter <laughs> you'd say katsuzo um yeah uh or i would think ganbaruzo or i would say ganbaruzo to myself uh when i have to do my best ganbaru <laughs> so back to yurusanezo it's like a warning right i will not let you get away with this and uh, you're warning the enemy, you're the sun as well. But if you want to sound like Vegeta, you have to say, the tiny you're the sun. <laughs> the next time you watch a shonen anime, pay attention what uh, each character says. Like, do they say you're the sun night, or do they say you're the sun ne, or do they say you're the sun, or do they add zo? And you can kind of tell what kind of personality uh, the character has. Okay, that could have been a bit heavy for beginners. Next. Daijoubu. Daijoubu. Daijoubu da yo. It's okay. It's alright. No problem. So, Daijoubu. Usually is used to reassure somebody. So you can say, Daijoubu to mean, are you okay? Like, are you hurt? Daijoubu. Uh, and then you can also like, Daijoubu. Uh, I'm okay, I'm fine. And you can use it like, don't worry as well. Uh, so reassuring everyone. So I'm pretty sure a lot of characters said, Daijoubu, minna wa. Ore ga mamoru. <laughs> oh, daijoubu. Minna wa watashi ga mamoru. So, female characters tend to say watashi. Anyway, daijoubu, like, don't worry. Minna uh, wa. So, as for everyone. Here, minna is not the subject who is taking the action, uh, which is mamoru, to protect. It's more like uh, a topic. So you're just saying, uh, don't worry about everyone. Everyone is a topic. I will protect them. 
Minna ore ga mamoru. So you use the ga particle after the pronoun I to indicate that I'm the one who will protect everyone. So yeah, this uh, construction might be confusing because you know the standard is subject wa, object o, verb, right? So watashi wa minna o mamoru. And that is correct too. Ore wa minna o mamoru. But this sounds quite factual, you know? So to make it more dramatic, to you know, emphasize the fact that I will protect everyone. <laughs> uh, you wanna do this. Minna wa ore ga mamoru. <laughs> we can also do ore ga minna o mamoru. So both are correct. And mamoru is another word that you will often hear in anime. And instead of daijoubu, you can also say daijoubu da yo, right? Your ending particle usually is used to inform somebody something new. And daijoubu da yo is, yeah, again, like you might not think. It's okay, but it is okay. Or if somebody's like worrying too much, like excessively, you can say, Daijoubu da yo. I know I can't tell that you don't think so, but it is fine. So let's say my colleague breaks a flower vase uh, in the office. And she could be like, oh yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye. Uh, kubi ni naru. <laughs> like, they will fire me. I will get fired. And yeah, some people really worry like that in Japan, you know, like, we'll break you something minor. Anyway, I would reassure her by saying, daijoubu da yo. Like, she's obviously not thinking that it's okay, but I'm trying to <laughs> tell her that it's okay. Daijoubu da yo. You know, the line, don't worry, I'm going to save everyone. Um, Daijoubu da yo. Uh, watashi ga minna o mamoru. It's okay, but it doesn't have the strong bam. Because sometimes, like, shorter the better. Because, yeah, daijoubu da yo can sound a bit too kind. And it's okay if, like, the situation is a bit more different. Like, Daijoubu da yo, watashi ga tetsudau kara. For example, like, don't worry, uh, I will help you. You know, like with homework, for example. <laughs> yeah, like for, like, before the enemies, you want to say, daijoubu. <laughs> Speaking of mamoru, uh, <laughs> if you're watching that kind of, like, action-packed anime, you might hear a phrase like, taskete. Save me, taskete. So be careful. Say taskete when you are actually in danger or you need somebody to save you, or you are exaggerating. And you, I mean, you, you could be just joking, uh, but yeah, you can say taskete when you just fall and you want somebody to help you get up. You could task. Say taskete, but it's more like a joke. So yeah, usually you'd say taskete when somebody is like, trying to hurt you. Whilst tetsudatte is more like help me with this homework or washing dishes, you know, something <laughs> easy. Um, so you don't need a superman <laughs> when you say tetsudatte. And a lot of people get confused with these two because they both mean to help in English, right? So like, help me can mean two things. Okay, tsugi, itte! That's uh, what we say when it hurts. <laughs> Ouch! So, um, you can say, ita! So, the adjective, itai, means painful, but when you want to use it like, ow, ouch, we tend to omit I at the end, so you say ita or ite and ite does sound more masculine, I guess, or yeah, like not as polite. <laughs> so yeah, a male character would say ite, there is more to there, and then 
えー、痛い And the cute character might say, いてててててて。That's pretty cute. いてててててて。And the girls ちゃんと言う。いた。So, not いて、but いた。So, in English, you might swear. So, you might use the F word when it really hurts, but in Japanese, yeah, we tend to use いた、いて。<laughs> 次、やめて。Oh, やめろーだまでも、こもねなにめ。やめろー So, やめる。to stop or to quit. So, you could say, 学校をやめる。仕事をやめる。to mean to quit school, job. And people usually say, やめて in real life. So, if like a kid pulls your hair, for example,、um, It's a nine, but you would say yamete.、Uh, or a parent might say yame nasai. Nasai is like parent speech. Because if you say yamero, it sounds a little bit too aggressive. I mean, yeah. Some parents might say yamero, but that's quite scary. But in anime, if an enemy is trying to kill your friend, you definitely say yamero. So you d use the rude imperative. You can also say chotto to mean like hey, cut it out. So chotto literally means a little, but you can say like chotto to mean. Hey, come on, don't do that. ちょっと That's Underwood. You will hear a lot in anime and in real life.、Um, but yeah, ちょっと待って is the classic, right? ちょっと待って Wait a sec. A lot of the time, you will also just hear ちょ because they're like, hey, what? You know, as the, the speech gets cut off. ちょ Ah, ちょ And Another variation is ちょっと待った And this sounds a bit more scary.、Uh, and yeah, I think you will hear ちょっと待った more in anime than in real life. Make sure to add the small つ待って because if you say 待って that sounds more yeah, rude. So 待って it's like wait. You can also say that to a dog. So that's the command you give. The two dogs wait.、Uh, mate. I mean, even if you love your dog, you use mate. Tsugi! Suge! Holy shit! <laughs> Suge! Amazing!、The、standard ways. Sugoi! Sugoi! I personally say sugoi. But again, if you're gonna sound a bit more masculine or you know, rough, you can just suge. It's like You can say, wow, amazing, sugoi. Or you can also say, holy shit. s u g e i Sugi. Yosh. Yes. <laughs> Yosh.、Uh, yeah, it's like victory. So when you win, you can say, Yosh. But Yosh has a few meanings. So, Yosh is also like ready. So, when you prepare something and all done, you can say, Yosh. It's like, I'm ready. And also, you say Yosh to a dog.、Uh, so, after saying Mate and make your dog wait, you'd say Yosh to let them、uh, eat or, you know, not wait. So, it's like undo the command, Yosh. So, if you're watching Chainsaw Man right now, Aki says Yosh to his dog.、Um, if he's in it, you know what I mean. But yeah, he says Yosh, but it's like the command, like go. So he's not saying yes, he's more like go. In One Piece, maybe Luffy says Yosha instead. It's not just Luffy thing, it, it sounds boyish. Again, girls can say it, but I hear more boys say Yosha, Yosha. Again, coming, yes, but also like ready. Okay, the video is getting too long, so the last one. <laughs> are, are, 
I think this is the word you can recognize easily and Japanese people say are a lot. <laughs> are like huh? So when they're confused or they don't understand what's going on, uh, they'd say are. So it's like hmm? So are can mean that, like that thing. Right, like are wa eki desu. That is a station. <laughs> but you can also say are to mean like hmm? In anime, you might hear are re re re. <laughs> they repeat the re. Are re re re. <laughs> uh, I personally never say. <laughs> it sounds a bit silly. Are re re re. But yeah, you'd say are or are okashi na. For example, you placed keys on the table and you remember doing that, but they're not there. You'd say are okashi na. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember that you can use all those phrases that I taught you outside of anime. So you can say them in real life to your friends, right? Just remember all the things I said. So make sure you don't say Abunaizo to your boss, for example. Uh, yeah, to your boss, you wanna probably warn them more like Abunai uh, yo. Um, or actually, Japanese people really hate giving advice or warning to superior people, uh, like sent by bosses. So they might just say, ah, ah. <laughs> They just <laughs> might just say, ah. Anyway. If you don't give this video a thumbs up, you're <laughs> not So please do make sure to hit the like button <laughs> and subscribe to this channel. And please do share this video with your friends who like anime. And as always, thank you everyone who supported me on Patreon, Coffee. Uh, however, you can like. I really, really appreciate it. And now there's also a Patreon exclusive Discord server, and I try to answer questions regarding Japanese, or yeah, um, I try to engage a lot uh, there. So if you wanna join, uh, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Okay, じゃあまたね。バイバイ。